Hi, I'm Dr. Dana Canuso. I'm a board certified podiatric surgeon, and today I'm gonna to tell you a little bit about pronation and what it is. So there are three different ways your feet can be aligned. The first way is a pronation or pronatory way of alignment where the inside arch falls down. Then you could have a neutral foot, which is basically the perfect foot that goes correctly when you walk. And then your alignment can be thrown off in what's called a supination or supinatory foot, which is a high arch and kind of tilts outward. And believe it or not, even though the neutral foot is the best type of foot to have, the most common foot by far is a pronatory or flat foot. And this can cause a host of problems in your body because every step we take sends the force upwards to your body. So when you land on your feet, if they roll inward, your knees are actually rolling inward as well. Then your hip has to correct itself by straightening. Your back has to align and your shoulders have to straighten. So nothing happens just to your feet. Your entire body is reacting to this falling of your arches. And that can cause um, knee pain, lower back pain, even shoulder pain, just because your arches are falling or you have a pronatory foot type. Pronation can also lead to other problems within your body, such as knee pain, hip pain, and lower back pain. And especially, I hear a lot of my patients complaining of knee pain and back pain, and they don't even realize that it's related to how flat their feet are or how unsupported or unstable their feet are. Um, so if you have pain in your knees, especially in the inside of your knees after walking for a, a long time, that's usually related to your arches falling inward and then pulling on the tendons and muscles on the inside of your knees. And also, lower back pain oftentimes is from your body constantly trying to work to stabilize your back just to accommodate the flattening of your feet. So the best way to really treat these problems associated with flat feet is to support them and make them as neutral and perfectly aligned as possible. And the only real way to do this is with a orthotic that really stabilizes the heel and the arch and helps you walk in a more neutral position. So when you're looking for something to help support your arch and give you that stabilization that you need to help with your pronatory feet, you wanna look for a product that really has a nice, well-defined arch and something where the arch extends through the orthotic because that is going to help the orthotic stay stable when the weight of your body is pushing down on it. So I really like this Neo-G orthotic. It's called the Pro Expert Orthotic. And I like it because when your weight is on the orthotic, it's keeping its shape and really forcing your foot to maintain that neutral, stable alignment. You may not know which type of foot you have, but an easy way to find out is to wet your foot and stand on a tile and see how much of your foot is showing on the tile. So for someone that has wet feet, you're going to see a really fat outline of your foot. The entire bottom of your foot is going to be showing on the tile. Whereas if you have a really high arched feet, all you're going to see is a little bit of your heel and a little bit of your toes on the tile because your arch is completely lifted off of the ground. So it is most common though to have a flat foot and the pain associated with flat feet is pretty particular. So if you have tired feet by the end of the day, if you find that the inside of your heel hurts or maybe even the arch itself hurts by the end of the day, you're probably dealing with flat feet. If your foot is aligned in a high arch manner or supinatory foot, you can also have problems with your heel and arch. And it's even more important to have an arch support because the high arch that you do have will cause pain once it starts falling because over time, everybody's feet fall because of gravity. So even if you originally have a high arched foot, an orthotics is going to help keep your arch stabilized and supported as it falls over time. 